Cap had to make my mama happy. I got Louis Gucci now that look at me funny. They say so's the way you get out of this money. Them niggas hate it cause I'm hot as the sun. So just strap with the automatic gun. What's going on folks, Hero here, and welcome to a, not really necessarily a series, but more of a constant thing that I'll be doing. Uh, these are going to be weekly updates. I actually used to do these back in the day, um, where I provide you guys what I was doing during the week, what I plan on doing in the future. I kind of stopped doing that just because things came a little bit hectic, and you know, I made certain things, or certain promises that I just did not provide. So that was why I stopped it, but now I'm in a much more comfortable spot to where I can confidently do these weekly updates. So the point of these is to let you guys know what's going on during the week and then what's the plans for next week so this is just more of an update i'll also be using the community boards and i'll try out this youtube shorts or whatever those are but for now hopefully these videos suffice as kind of like a general update of what's going on with not only with me but with the channel and some stuff about the second channel which i'll mention next time because not really too much movement on the second channel as of now but i'll get into that another day before we get started with today's weekly update i want to thank today's sponsor which i've mentioned that i will be having on a community board the coldest water. What I love about this water is that, or this water bottle, is that it is an insulated water bottle. And if you can hear the inside of that, that is ice. Kicker is that ice has been in there for the past two days and has not yet melted. Now, obviously, I'm going to change out the ice every couple of days, but still, it just goes to show you how well insulated this bottle is and how cold it will keep your drinks. I mainly use this for whenever I work out or if I'm doing long editing sessions or I'm going to start using it for streams where I need to stay hydrated and I don't want to have to get up and refill my bottled water or get like a new bottle of water because the old one's gotten a whole hot and nasty and stuff like that. This is a really nice water bottle, comes in different colors. Uh, I like the blue and black and I like the uh, the finish on it. It's really nice has like a nice reflective shine to it and currently right now there is a giveaway going on if you want to check that out in the description down below but if you want to buy yourself a water bottle you can also use this code storm 10 and that will save you 10% off your entire order there's also a link in the description down below for that as well if you want to click on that and buy a water bottle as is this sponsored I do get a little bit of a kickback if you do decide to purchase a water bottle so there is that hopefully you guys do enjoy the bottle if you do buy one and let me know if you do get one what size did you get just for reference this is the 21 ounce size bottle uh, this is my personal favorite is very small and compact and it's easy to carry along but I also plan on getting a larger one as well for the longer workout sessions that I have with my brother anyway now that that's out of the way let's continue on with the so video. to start off with I apologize for missing yesterday's upload there is some corrupted footage with the Skyrim playthrough I am actually fixing that as we speak so that will be uploaded on Thursday and then you guys will get the regularly scheduled programming of every Tuesday and Thursday for those videos if you missed it I did also upload a cyberpunk video which is up on the channel uh, I believe I uploaded that on Monday, so if you haven't seen that, go check that out. I think it has some really cool mods and things like that. And I will try and keep mod videos up semi-weekly. Uh, probably be switching between, again, Fallout, Skyrim, uh, Cyberpunk when there's some good mods. I'll probably be diving into some other games I play as well, such as The Witcher 3. So those will be out semi-weekly. I'll try and get those done as best I can. Those videos do take a little bit of time to edit because there's a lot more transitions. I have to cut and study footage and things like that. So those take a little bit longer to come out, which is why they're not as frequent as the modded playthrough stuff. Speaking of which, we're almost done with Vigilant. We're like, I want to say 80% done with Vigilant. So that will be concluded probably by the end of April. Um, or towards the end of April, and then we'll start on the next playthrough, which I believe is called Grimwall. Um, I'm probably butchering that, so I apologize. So we'll be starting that up as well with the same character. Um, so hopefully you guys are enjoying that as well. I'm enjoying playing through it. I think it's a lot of fun seeing like these new quests and things like that. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it as well. Uh, as far as streams go, I have gone, I'm going to start regularly streaming. Uh, speaking today, there will be a stream. Probably by the time this comes up, the stream will be up a couple hours early, uh, later. I'm going to try and stream on both the YouTube and Twitch. Um, don't know why I'm going to try and do that, but I'm going to try it anyway, just to go like an experiment. So you'll see a YouTube notification of me streaming on here as well as on Twitch. So if you haven't followed me on Twitch and you prefer Twitch, go ahead and follow me on Twitch because I do plan to try and stream on both platforms simultaneously. It's going to be a little bit of an experiment, so we'll have fun with that. Um, as far as the streams go, if it does work out, then those streams will be uploaded every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, like we used to do in the past, Fridays being the fallout days. Um, right now, I'm still doing depravity, but we got to do a little bit of adjustments and stuff like that to fix that up, but we'll be playing some of that. After that, what I may do is I may re-roll a new character, and I may do like a survival fallout, but we'll see with that. I um, also do want to play some other games as well after fallout. Um, I think I'm going to get into the Outer Worlds. I really missed out on that. I played a little bit of it, and it looked really cool and very interesting. I just didn't really have the time to, to bunker down and play it. So I'm going to start playing the Outer Worlds as well on stream, and a couple of other RPGs and stuff like that as well. Um, 
I do owe you guys Life is Strange 2. I, I have not played that yet. And I know there's a new one coming out. I believe it's coming out by the end of 2021. So I want to play through Life is Strange 2 before we get into that. What I may do is I may play through Life is Strange 1 uh, one more time. And then I'll play Life is Strange 2 afterwards. I'm probably going to avoid Before the Storm because I don't think that has much relevance in uh, Life is Strange 2 and, and moving forward. I don't think a lot of the choices that were presented in that game affect the other games like Life is Strange 1. But I could be wrong. And if I am wrong, please let me know. Um, after that, I am also experimenting one second here with some VR stuff. So I have a VR, I have an Oculus Rift. Uh, I do actually want to get the Oculus Quest 2 at some point just to avoid the cables. But I do have an Oculus and a couple of people was like, oh, you should stream some Oculus stuff or stream some VR stuff. I want to, I want to try and do that. So I'll try and do some VR stuff. Um, I think I found a method that will allow me to read chat, which was my biggest concern with doing VR stuff is that I haven't been able to like read the chat and do certain things. But I think there's a program that's like 10 bucks that you can like, mount the chat to your wrist or something and you can like look at your wrist and stuff like that and if it does work out there are definitely a few vr games that i want to play slash stream uh that would be a lot of fun and yes some of those are going to be horror games i don't know why they're going to be horror games because you guys like to see me suffer but they are going to be horror games nonetheless so hopefully you guys enjoy that in the next couple of weeks and stuff like that um as stated before i think what i want to do for 2021 is i want to break I want to break 30,000 subs. I think that's a reasonable goal right now, and a lot of that just means being consistent, so that is the goal. If you reach higher than that, fantastic, but yeah, I think I want I want to break the 20,000 mold that I've been in for uh, the past couple of months. I want to break into 20, or uh, break into 30,000, and a lot of that's going to be on me uploading videos consistently, um, and then it's a, lot, a lot of you guys, if you like the content, watching and spread it out to people that you know that may also like the content. Um, things may change overall. Like I said, I know this channel is mainly focused on Skyrim modding and other types of mods um, as new games do come out and I get them on PC. Um, if there is a big modding scene community out there and I do enjoy the game, I actually plan on covering that as well. I don't think there's any huge RPGs that are coming out this year that will have mod support. I know there is a couple of RPGs that are coming out, so I'll definitely be playing them. I just don't know if they'll have a modding scene. And I don't know what's happening with Cyberpunk 2077. Um, we have a mod kit of sorts, but it's not the one that you would expect, not the one that's so robust robust like Skyrim, right? So a lot of the mods that you expect right now aren't coming out, and uh, CD Projekt Red is still updating that game and fixing performance and, and issues and other issues, stuff like that. It's a whole cycle with that game. So while I do like the game and I will do coverage on the game in terms of mods, stuff like that, I may talk about a little bit of the new stuff. Um, you won't see as much cyberpunk content on the channel um, unless that there's like some breakthroughs or like some really cool mods that I think will make the game a lot more better. So again, this is just a quick weekly update. I'll try and do these probably either at the beginning of the week or in the middle of the week. Um, usually I don't upload on Wednesdays because I stream, but it, like maybe the middle of the week will be a good time to upload these. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Again, just a quick update video. And once again, I want to thank today's sponsor, The Coldest Water. Uh, thank you guys for sponsoring the video. As I said before at the beginning, there is a link in the description down below for a giveaway as well as a uh, discount code for 10% off of your entire order. So hopefully you guys checked it out. I will see you guys hopefully tonight on the stream, and I'll catch you guys in the Skyrim playthrough stuff. Take care.